Hey guys, welcome to the third video of my UNO card game tutorial, and in this video, we're going to be finishing the UNO deck class that we started last video. So the first thing we're going to do is create a method called replace deck with. So let's go do that. And it is going to take an array list of UNO cards. So this method is pretty much going to take an array list of UNO cards and it's going to replace the deck with that array list. So when you're playing UNO, you have the main deck that you draw cards from, but then when you place cards down, you have a stockpile of cards. So all that's going to do is replace the deck. When, you, when the deck runs out, you're going to replace the current deck with the stockpile that you have. So to do this, all we're going to do is write this simple line. So what this is doing is that it's making our current cards the cards right here so this is being highlighted so these cards it's turning it to an array of size of the like it's the size of the array list so all we're doing is all this line is doing is turning this array list of uno cards into our just normal array of uno cards and then it's saying that the length of or the amount of cards in the deck is this is the length of this array so this stockpile is just being turned into our new deck so i added a comment at the top of this replace deck with method just to clarify what the method exactly does and now the next method that we're going to make that i just wrote right now was the is empty method so this is just going to check to see if the cards in the deck are empty so all we really have to do for this method is write return cards in deck equals equals zero and that's just going to see if there are no cards in the deck so this will return true if the deck is empty the next method that we're going to be making is a shuffle method to shuffle the deck so let's go do that and the first thing we're going to do is get a variable, a local variable, we'll just call it n, and this is going to be the amount of cards in the deck. So then we're going to create a random variable, and we're going to make a for loop for the amount of cards in the deck. So I'm just going to write a couple commas to say what this thing that I'm about to do does. So we're going to get a random index of the array past the current index. Then the argument is an exclusive bound. And we're going to swap the random element with the present element. So we're going to get our run in value and we're just going to subtract that. And we're going to get a random card from our deck. And then we are going to swap that and we're going to do another swap so just to re-explain this what this method is doing is we're getting a random value and then we're going to draw a random card from our deck at the index of our random value and then at the position 
in our array of that random value, so the index of this random value in our cards array, we're going to put the current card. So we're starting at the first card in the deck, so we're just going to put the first card in the deck at the position of the random value. And then the random card that we got earlier from, you know, could be anywhere in the deck, we're putting that at the first position in our deck array. The next method we need to make is a draw card method that's just going to return a singular Uno card. So something like that. And then this is actually going to throw an illegal argument exception. So if, so in Uno, you always draw a card, like let's say you're, you can't play a card and you need to draw a card from the deck. So usually you have no problem just drawing a card from the deck, but what if the deck's empty? So we're gonna just say something like, if the deck is empty, or if, you know, it is empty, throw a new legal argument exception. And we're just gonna say like, cannot draw a card since there are no cards in the deck. But usually there are cards in the deck, so we're just gonna draw um, from the top of the deck. So cards in deck. And since this is gonna be a GUI game, we also need to get the top card image. So we're gonna also gonna make a method called draw card image and it's gonna return an image icon. So just draw card image and this is gonna be similar to the method that we did before. This is also gonna throw an illegal argument exception. And we're just gonna say if is empty again throw an exception we'll just say not draw a card since the deck is empty but if we can draw from the deck then we're just gonna say return new image icon cards cards and deck and then we're gonna make it two string and then we're gonna add dot png so this will be for later in the tutorial but pretty much every card in the deck we're just gonna get some images and then we're just gonna add the name whatever the card is like if it's a red zero we just say name the image icon red zero dot png and then this two string is just going to return the card with the name and the color. So the color and the number. So yeah, we're done with that method. And now our last method for this video and the last method of the Uno deck class is going to be a draw card method, but for multiple cards. So this is for when someone hits you with the plus two or the plus four, you get multiple Uno cards. So instead of having a call like the draw card method that we made earlier, like this one over and over again, we should just make a method that just returns an array of Uno cards. So we're gonna do that. So this is gonna return an array of Uno cards and we'll just call it draw card. This one takes an integer and the integer n is pretty much gonna be the number of cards that you're gonna receive. So if, and we're just going to do some error checking really quick. So if n is less than zero, I'm going to throw a new exception again. Must draw positive cards, but tried to draw
and then okay that should be good for that and then if you try to draw more cards than are in the deck also gonna throw an exception because you can't draw more cards than we have so we're just gonna say cannot draw those cards So that's just going to let them know how many cards are in the deck and you can't draw that many cards because there's only a certain amount in the deck. So now we're just going to make a new array of UNO cards and the size of it is going to be how many cards we need to return. So a little for loop here. And we're just going to put at the index, just fill up this array with the cards from the deck. And then we're going to return this array. So if there aren't, if you try to get less cards, like draw negative cards it won't let you do that if you try to draw more cards that are in the deck it's going to stop you from doing that as well we just made our array and then we filled it up with the cards from the top of the deck and then we're returning those cards that we got so that's going to end this video if it helped you out please like and subscribe and see you guys in the next one